Well, normally our videos only show us out eating great food and seeing cool stuff and wandering around through beautiful landscapes and all of the really fun stuff about this lifestyle. But we do a ton of work behind the scenes to keep our travel going. Some days just really remind us what an enormous amount of work it is to keep all the moving parts flowing and linked together. Like today, for instance. We're just hours away from checking in for our flight to Switzerland. So we do a last minute check and find this little beauty. Cue mad dash travel planning at the last minute. But we're really good at this by now. So what could possibly go wrong? Funny you should mention that. I just clicked a little too fast on a non-refundable ticket, accidentally made it for the wrong date, and now we're $130 poor. Life is amazing. Even though I'm a little bummed about costing us all that money. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. What is happening guys? We're Craig and- What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King and Earth. No, we're not Craig and Amy. We're Chris and Katie. That's kinging it. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? So we have been running around not quite like mad, but scampering a bit to get our bags packed and travel arrangements made to adjust for changes beyond our control. We woke up this morning with the news that our trip to Switzerland has been canceled. Switzerland just put Portugal on the list of countries that require a 10 day quarantine. And since we're only gonna be there for four, that means that we lost all of our money that we booked in non-refundable tickets. So, what we're going to do is go to Germany. So we are heading to Berlin in just a couple hours. But first, before we leave Lisbon. I've been dying to see Winter Wonderland here. It's just open last night, but it was raining. And tonight it's nice and beautiful. So we're gonna catch that before we head to the plane. And I'll have you know, I managed to make the rest of the travel arrangements without costing us any more money because today was expensive enough. I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> so, off to the Winter Wonderland. You know I've been really getting into quilling. And this is the first place I've ever seen that actually has done it. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. We walked just a little bit out of our way to make sure that we got to walk up the most beautiful street in all of Lisbon. And we've walked a lot of Lisbon <laughs> on the way to the Winter Wonderland. It looks like we have a sepia tint filter on, but we don't. It's just that the street lights here in Lisbon have this kind of yellowish color. They're kind of neat. You need to show your digital COVID certificate to get in. Okay. Okay. Well, that line was so much shorter than the one on the other side. <laughs> Easy peasy. Because, you know, we've got certificates for like every country in Europe. <laughs> this is the Lisbon Wonderland. Just by chance heard about it. So it was only opened on the first. And so far, there's lots of food. Glad we're getting to catch this before we head to the airport. Now you've gotten to see at least two Christmas markets. Yes, that is true. We'll just try and add more and more as long as they're open. <laughs> we'll see how this video ages as Omicron starts to uh, set in, whether it becomes a thing or not. But uh, we just enjoy it every day. The best bathroom is a free bathroom, even if it's nasty. <laughs> oh, make sure you always bring toilet paper everywhere you go because they hardly ever have toilet paper. I would figure that, you know, for experienced travelers such as us, that would be a given. <laughs> I may have forgotten some today. <laughs> if I'd known there was going to be so much food, I wouldn't have eaten before we came. Wow, did we find some light. Good uh, Lord. The kids section with a little tiny, uh, what is it? Santa's Village is so cute. They did a really good job, and I am really impressed with just how much food there is. There's everything from donuts to pad thai to Portuguese specialties, to pasta de not to hamburgers, pizzas. It wow. goes on and on and on. I, if we weren't leaving in a few hours, I would come back here for a couple days in a row just to eat. <laughs> of course, some beautiful crafts. I'm 
Everybody's dancing to Christmas music. You have to dance to Jingle Bell Rock. These are the good times with you. So this place is a lot of fun. The music, the lights, the little kids have something to do as the parents eat and chop all around the edges. If you're in Lisbon during this time, go to the market. What's it called? One Winterland. Wonderland Lisbon. Definitely go see it. And the price is right, which is zero. <laughs> now back to the hotel and off to the airport. <laughs> off to the airport after we check out from the reception. All the locals told us the best ride share, like Uber type app in Lisbon is called Bolt. So we've just selected our Bolt or reserved our boat to take us to the airport. And it does seem to be a bit cheaper than Uber. Gives his name, a picture of him, and his license plate number. And here he is. Perfect, thanks. After a little trouble, we got our bags it scanned, and now we're on our way to security. Next stop, Frankfurt. We made it to Germany. It's our 40th country. Now we're just waiting for our bags so we get on the train. To? Uh, Berlin. <laughs> we had to run because the train was late, but we actually made the train. And it's not moving. Oh, two minutes. That's all the difference was. Oh, now you've done it, Katie. Now we're on the Berlin subway headed to our hotel. Adventure! <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe! Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>